Now here she is, fully demoed. Balls are gone. Ceiling's gone. That's it. Next step is windows over here. After the other one's dry and cure. And then we'll start on the outside, getting it ready for paint. Alright guys, so we were out here working and we got us a package. Now in the first video, I promised you we were going to get a tripod, which we've already got. That's what the phone's set up now. But we also got us a, we got us a new action camera. We just got a camera. We've been taking videos with our phones. So, see this is something that people don't tell you. Half the schoolie build you spend your time uh, building it and, learning, and then, how, learning how to build it and then like 40 I don't know some people say they spend half their time at Home Depot but we just do pickups so far I'm sure when we start to get into the wood and stuff like that we'll have a, a lot of uh, time spent there but as of right now learning to edit learning how to put together all the the uh, little intros and outros and and then you gotta get you a website and set you up a pinterest and and all this stuff instagram. and an instagram yeah that she stephanie worked on that last night for a couple of hours just putting the instagram up um which we'll put in the link of this video uh but a lot of the times devoted to learning and that's good Searching. because at the end of this whole thing whether it be and we have no experience whatsoever in construction and mm -hmm. electrical. Especially me. Really in painting, I mean, <laughs> except for just basic just stuff. Painting. So uh, definitely don't have any, um, definitely don't have any experience in the editing or the building of buses or pulling out windows or anything like that. So everything that we're doing right now, um, hopefully uh, we'll, help or inspire somebody else to be able to um, tackle a project because this is a huge project but yeah we got us some stuff in and we're gonna you know this will allow us to I think take better videos and and uh, upload them faster and stuff like that Hopefully. so give us a thumbs up and give us a like and subscribe to we our hope channel this works good because this is an expense we're trying to do all this stuff debt free and um, so hopefully this camera will be a little bit better quality um, for us and everything for our videos. All right, so we're gonna get back at it. Like I said, we're gonna get, try to get the walls on one side of the bus out um, today. And keep and then, working on the windows. And we're gonna get all the windows out. And then Stephanie here is going to uh, um, hopefully get them all, get four of them at least prepped. Hopefully. Uh, and then we'll get them painted cleaned off she's about to start cleaning one of them taped off and then we'll paint and we'll, maybe we can do them one at a time get one painted we'll then start on the next one we'll, oh yeah yeah we gotta let them dry so yeah. but all right that's about it <laughs> it's like Christmas every day up in here when you got Amazon fulfillment right up the road from you <laughs> So awesome. Got all the windows out on one side, which is pretty much part of our goal today. Uh, on the outside, I had to, I don't know if you guys saw, 
but I had to I had to go out and with a little piece of uh, two by two and just tap the edges to get them get it the you know the window to pop out but what you do is you just cut the caulk on the inside and the out and then uh, go outside and push them in these were a little tough I actually think these windows were probably redone recently you know in the last three or four years or so because but we didn't really have any leaks to speak of just a few little ones but pretty sure it wasn't the, it wasn't the caulk it was we didn't have the window shut anyway it's always a good idea to redo them because you know that way we have peace of mind so There you have it. Boy, well, Stephanie's out here getting it after it. She's on like the fifth or sixth window. And she's got them all scotch brighted, all of the old caulk removed. That way the paint will adhere. And then I guess tonight, after we wash them down, we're gonna go ahead and tape the windows off and we'll go ahead and paint them. At some point, I'll paint them and let them dry. Probably put two coats of paint on there. Uh, just a Rust-Oleum, um, that professional black enamel flat. And that's gonna look real good up there on the, where they're silver right now. Oh, that'll be black. Be surprised how much you can do if you just do a little bit a day or a little bit every couple of days. But yeah, this is Stephanie's little workstation right here. She's just crud cutting everything. Getting all the dirt off, getting all the grease off so that when we paint, everything will be good to adhere to so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to what I'm calling skin a window but this is the way I'm doing it this is the way I found is easiest and I get most of the crud off with a razor knife and then when I come back with my wire wheel and my drill um, it's like super fast I can wear a mask and and just zip that stuff off, zip all the corrosion off where I see it, and uh, and then we're ready to at that point crud cut and clean the window really good, let them dry, and then we'll go to the next step. <laughs> here on the drill and we're gonna take the rest of the caulk off and clean any of the old uh, you know crud off the window uh, you know there's oxidation aluminum oxidizes and stuff like that and we're just going to try to get that clean as best as we can um, so that our metal etching primer sticks to it really well and then uh, once we do that then we'll clean her off with crud cutter, let her dry. Then we're gonna take her in, taper, and then after we tape tape the window, we'll be able to pay, uh, go ahead and prime it, and paint it. So I'm gonna wear my mask here. And when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have 
let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright Okay, so now we've got them skinned, we've got them wire, wire wheeled. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take them and just make sure that there's no di uh, dents in the frame and stuff like that. And if so, we'll take a hammer and a piece of wood or a chisel or whatever and we'll knock those back straight. And then we're going to, uh, at that point, clean the windows with a... Uh, uh, pure with thieves and then we're gonna start taping which we'll show you that in a little bit and then we'll show you the painting process of what we do as well so all right so here's our window taping job we're actually just taking for right now we're taking a a young living brochure <laughs> I have an, an extra, old I have one. Extra old ones. An old Young Living brochure. Be a little bit helpful. But just to kind of show you what our process is here. Being careful, you know, to get right up against the edges. And, you know, this will make the paint job look better. The more careful you are, the better it'll look, so. All right. This is how to paint a schoolie window. Not sure if it's the right way or not, but we're gonna do it anyway. So actually what we've done is we've gotten this, this self-etching primer from Rustolium, and we're gonna put this on the the frame first, one coat, and we'll let it dry, and then we'll come back over with a couple of coats of black. I've been lying here for too long. I don't know what else to do. Wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make it through I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters so I cry instead Everything I ever worked for vanished in the blink of an eye I've been asking every question Cause I haven't got a clue Why's it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do? Trying everything I can But I ain't got 
got nothing left And I know there's so much more to this life But it's hard to see it clearly Yeah, I tried my best but nothing turns out tonight so as you guys just saw we wrapped up the first video of our um, window removal and restoration let me tell you that's a that's a big task um, it was it was tough we're finally past that hurdle though um, we've uh, we've got uh, all the windows uh, back in um, and can't wait to show you uh, you guys that video um, next week. Uh, hey buddy, you want to come up here? So, first of all, I want to thank you guys for watching. I know uh, some of our videos are a little bit long, um, but I wanted to say something I was thinking about. Uh, you know, I was editing um, the video, and and I was sitting there thinking about life um, I work in in social social media during the day and I see a a, a lot of people um, not being kind to each other and uh, so I guess my point is is that I was thinking when I was uh, editing the video that uh, wouldn't it be nice if we could just edit our lives if we could just take that little, that little mean word we said to our spouse um, away, uh, if we could just uh, take that, that uh, when we yelled at our kids because they made a mess, or when our dog pooed on the floor and we, we, you know, we, we were mean to him, or, or that person in the, in the um, coming out of the grocery store that we didn't get a, an opportunity to open the door or didn't think about opening the door for. So, uh, wouldn't it be nice if we could just add in what we wish we had done, and take in, and 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 and, ta and take out and edit out what we did that we regret. So that's why um, it's very important um, for all of us to be kind. Um, you know, these are trying times right now in the world, and and we have to just. Uh, be kind to one another. Ultimately, that's all we have. What really matters is that we're kind to each other. That uh, we we try to you know help each other out when we can, and uh, that we love one another um, the best that we can, despite what our indifferences are or what our views of the world or opinions are. And so that's why you know, I, hey Stephanie and I chose the motto live life be kind and never stop exploring because you know those those words are uh, kind of what we're aspiring to live by in this life so um, if you guys like the video uh, please um, please thumbs it up and subscribe to the channel and share tap that bell so that you um, are alerted uh, to future videos that um, we'll be coming out with and this little guy right here is kind no matter what unless you take his bone and then he's not kind anymore so hey we'll see you guys next week with part two of our window restore and uh, we thank you guys for watching